Hello and welcome to Disc 1 of The Chronological Donald, Volume 3. I'm Leonard Malton. We pick up Donald Duck's short subject career where we left off last time, in mid-1947. And this disc includes some memorable cartoons featuring the irascible star. In fact, this selection on Disc 1 gives you a good idea of just how imaginative the gag writers, directors, and animators were at coming up with fresh, new ideas for a character they'd worked with for well over a decade. Drip Dippy Donald is practically a pantomime short, but for the annoying sound of a leaky faucet and the inimitable squawking of our harried hero. Clown of the Jungle brings back the unique looking and sounding Araquan bird, who was introduced in the 1945 feature film The Three Caballeros as a nemesis for our hero. And T for 200, in which Donald teases a colony of ants, was funny enough to earn an Academy Award nomination. Two of my all-time favorite Donald Duck shorts are also on this disc. In Donald's Dilemma, a conch on the head by a flower pot transforms the squawking duck into a crooner, reminiscent of Frank Sinatra, complete with swooning fans, which doesn't sit well with his jealous girlfriend, Daisy. Except, I'm not sure Frankie ever wooed his fans with a rendition of When You Wish Upon a Star. The presentation of this short, as Daisy tells her story to an off-camera psychiatrist, is especially clever. Donald's dream voice involves another amazing transformation. This time it's a pill that does the trick, turning Donald's familiar garble into the velvet voice that's reminiscent of screen star Ronald Coleman. Topical gags like this involving personalities like Sinatra and Coleman would have hit a bullseye with audiences in the 1940s, but the cartoons still play just fine even if you don't know the background of these gag ideas. As the series continued, the writers and directors started dreaming up new adversaries for Donald who might appear on a recurring basis. You'll see the first of them with Boodle Beetle, Chip and Dale, and a mischievous bee on this disc. And I'll talk about all three of them on disc two. Disney veterans Jack Kinney, Jack King, and Jack Hanna directed these Technicolor shorts, which entertain movie audiences young and old and are still fun to watch today.